So hi there and welcome back to the Dental Advisor. Today's topic has been inspired by one of the comments that I got on my rubber dam video asking me um, if I could do a video with the total myometric system. Now the total myometric system is a rather old system. Uh, we don't use it uh, much in private practice today. But still, at the dental college level, you still have to know how to use the total myometric system. So, I have in my hand a typical total myo retainer. All right, it contains of two screws, what I call the big screw and the small screw. Uh, some people like to call it the nut. So here's the big nut, and here's the little nut. Right, and what? do these two screws or nuts do? Um, they basically move this little device up and down. The big nut will move it up and down as you screw it or unscrew it. Now the small nut controls the movement of this entire screw length. Now, I want you to look at this portion right there. Look at this portion right there and see what happens. I am, okay, you can't really see. Okay, I'm holding the small nut and I'm turning it. And you'll find the tip disappears and then vanishes. So this little nut controls how tight the total fiber, how tight your total my matrix band is going to sit within your retainer. Step one, loosen the big screw, loosen it and so that over here this little rectangular piece goes and jams against the top. Alright, tightening it, loosening it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm cursed. Where were we? So this is what you have to achieve first. After which you have to create space for the band to sit in this slot. Okay, to sit right there all the way down. It's got to go all the way down. So if this little screw is obstructing its path, it will not go all the way down. Right? If we loosen it too much, there, see, gone. One way to test whether you have unscrewed the small nut enough is to take the band and try and place it over there. And if you find that it doesn't go all the way down, that means there's something obstructing inside here, preventing the band from seating all the way down. So then you unscrew the small nut and then try again. And there you go. It now is seated all the way down, which means that you have unscrewed enough. This is the basic position of the total my retainer before you start. All right, so you get to this position, then leave this aside. And now you have to treat your matrix band. Your matrix band is a flat piece of metal. Your tooth is curved. So how are you going to get a flat piece of metal to go around a curve? Use the back end of a tweezer, right, the back end, and pre-curve the band. You can take an egg-shaped burnisher and burnish this end 
so that you get an additional curvature. Having done this, you got to realize that this edge is really sharp. It's really sharp. So if it's going to be stuck inside the patient's mouth and then sticking out into the cheek, you're going to have lacerations over there. So be careful about this end. I'll show you how you can make it safe for your patients. Now the retainer has some built-in slots already. So there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one angled over here. So the idea is to place it such that it goes through this big slot over here and then also into the angle slot. When I place it, I've got this safe end against the cheek and the pokey bits of the Tofelmeyer band are facing towards the tooth so it doesn't hurt the cheek and cause any lacerations. Your next step is to tighten this small nut so that now the band is secured. You still notice that there is this free end of this band that can potentially damage the gingiva or the cheek mucosa of the patient. So what you can do is again, with the help of the tweezer, hold the ends and bend it inwards. So now this is a safe end. This is smooth and it's not going to hurt anybody. The pointy bits are safely tucked inside. After you've placed the band across the tooth, now tighten the big nut. As you tighten the big nut, the band gets tighter and tighter around the tooth. And there we go. Okay, around the tooth. After this, you can place your wedge and then go about doing your restoration. The last step is once you've finished your restoration, you're going to take all this, this contraption off. So the proper way to do it is by not turning the big nut. Don't loosen the big nut, loosen the small nut. All right, that's the proper way of removing this tofu my retainer system. So because gravity is working against me, I'm just going to hold this whole thing over here and I'm going to loosen this. As I loosen it, you'll find that the retainer comes off. No. <laughs> And then all you got to do is carefully take the band and remove it off the tooth. Now this has to be done after you've achieved a good set for the restorative material. So if it's a uh, composite, then you don't have to worry. But if it's amalgam, please wait for at least 10 minutes before you do this. Otherwise, whatever you've done is going to come off with the band. Well, thanks for listening. And I hope it helped and stay tuned for more videos from The Dental Advisor.